Welcome everybody to this afternoon for today's chat GBT workshop. I am super excited to cover today's topic. I have an avid user of chat GBT and I'll be going over how I've utilized chat GBT for my own digital marketing efforts. It is a relatively new tool. There's many different avenues where we can utilize chat GBT within our own marketing strategies. And I'd love to learn a little bit more about what you guys are looking to get out of today's workshop, as well as what you've used ChatGBT in, in the past as well. So I'm just going to go through a quick agenda for today's workshop. I'll be doing an introduction about ChatGBT and its capabilities, as well as going over the benefits of ChatGBT within digital marketing. I'll be going over some content creation and copywriting uses within ChatGBT, as well as SEO, how do we leverage search engine optimization with ChatGBT, also email marketing and personalization within ChatGBT, social media marketing, some case studies and success stories, as well as there are some limitations and challenges as great as the tool is, and some best practices for using ChatGBT within digital marketing, as well as a live demo of using ChatGBT for our digital marketing efforts. So just a little bit about myself. I've been working in marketing for about eight years now. I started off as a freelance digital marketer working in Toronto, Canada, just going door to door to biz small businesses within my area, offering marketing services. It kind of took a life of its own. And then I became an agency owner within time. Now I work within a, as a programmatic strategist. So I work for an ads agency within downtown Toronto. And as my spare time, I love being a digital marketing instructor. So I'm also a, I'm an instructor with the Workforce Institute as well as Georgia Tech University. And I'm super excited for today's workshop. But before I get into what ChatGBT is, I just want to get a feeler in the room. What do you guys know about ChatGBT as well as what are you utilizing ChatGBT before in the past? And are we like just <laughs> should I go? Get on me, Hope. Go? Lay on me. Yeah. All righty. Okay. Well, hi, my name's Hope Brown. Um, I have been using Chat GBD pretty much ever since it was rolled out. At first, it was just um I was just testing the waters with it, you know, just making conversations with the AI system, getting to know the feel of it. And then as I progressed, I started using it mainly for drafting emails and some searching. Um, so I did a lot of research on universities previously because I was doing some research on the programs and just doing some um, pulling up some data and everything. So that's what I used it for. And then over time, I've observed that especially in the past six months, the way it was drafting emails has changed significantly and it has learned a lot. And um, like I can see the progress in real time, and that's what I've used it for so far. Awesome! Thanks for sharing, Hope. I've actually used ChatGPT too for content ideation as well. Anytime I was looking to her for brainstorming, thanks for sharing. Thank you. What What about yourself, Richard, the ChatGPT fan club? <laughs> so I've used uh. Chat GPT for different outlets, uh, well, mostly for work, uh, and uh, you know, mostly in uh, organizing data, or uh, you know, putting it in a table, and um, yeah, it was really useful for uh, emails, email drafting as well. So in general, it's a really useful tool that everybody should be able to you know use to their advantage. Awesome! Thanks for sharing, Richard. What about yourself, Emily? Have you been using but dabbling into ChatGBT to write up some emails? Yeah, kind of on the same boat as Richard using ChatGBT to use more of a like a backboard to bounce ideas off of, help get creative with um, any work emails or um, uh, content creation. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, guys. So we got some different answers for what we've been using and utilizing ChatGBT for. As you can see, it is a very versatile AI tool that we could be using at our disposal. But what exactly is ChatGPT? And if you're not familiar with it, so for ChatGPT, 
it uses it is advanced languaging model that is developed by OpenAI. So it's been trained on vast amount of text data, allowing it to understand and generate human-like responses in a conversational manner. So as we've seen, we've actually, a few of us have actually used ChatGBT for drafting up emails, drafting up some potential blog posts, as well as looking at some different content ideations. All of that can comes in and works under ChatGBT because why? It can generate human-like responses. It can also process and generate text, making it a very powerful tool for various applications within digital marketing. We're at a point with AI right now, if you're not using AI, using AI right now won't just put you at an advantage as within digital marketing, but if you're not utilizing AI, soon enough, you'll be at a disadvantage. And we'll look at some ways we can actually be utilizing ChatGPT within our digital marketing efforts. So some of the benefits of ChatGPT within digital marketing is time and time and cost savings. So how do I like to use ChatGPT? By automating our processes. So within automating my process, businesses can reduce the need for manual intervention, leading to increased efficiency and cost savings. So think of all the mundane tasks that we have day to day. Do we need to sort of outsource some of this work? Do we need to sort of outsource any core copywriting? Do we need how many emails that we have to respond to for potential clients? Drafting up these emails, coming up with new ideas, ChatGBT comes in and helps automate that process for us, helping us with work productivity. It also enhances our creativity and innovation. So this is one of my favorite features of ChatGBT because it generates fresh and unique ideas. It sparks creativity within content creation and our marketing campaigns. It can also provide some improved customer support. So within ChatGPT chatbots, they provide an instant responses and round the clock support, and it's a consistent server quality as well. What about if we have large sums of data and we want to see, we have right now, we launched a marketing campaign. We have all this data available to us within our click-through rates. We have our return on ad spend. How do we know how do we me measure up for industries? How do we know what benchmark should be striving for? we can utilize ChatGPT to help us with data-driven insights. So it can actually analyze vast amounts of data to help provide us some valuable insights on our customer behavior, our preferences, and some current trends that we might not have been aware of. One of my favorite things is it's how, how universal it is. So think of multi-channel marketing. So ChatGPT can actually generate content suitable for various channels such as website content, social media, email, and even automated chatbots. Also, we have a personalization. So Judge GBT can actually allow marketers to deliver very personalized content and experiences to individuals, to customers on a very large scale. Another benefit of ChatGBT is for lead nurturing. So think of automating those email sequences and personalized messaging and looking for ways to help keep your audience engaged. So nurturing leads is an important component to keep an engaged audience throughout your customer journey. And lastly, think of the competitive advantage. So even by leveraging advanced capabilities of ChatGBT, you can have a competitive advantage and stand out in the market. Why? Because you'll always be on top of trends. You always be on top of sort of content ideas. You'll have more, you'll have ChatGBT at your disposal to generate more brainstorming ideas You'll have ChatGBT to help you with your automation. You'll have ChatGBT to help you um, outline any other sort of industry news, as well as making your digital marketing campaigns more adaptable as well. One of the things that I've used ChatGBT lots for has been content creation and copywriting. So the tool can help us actually put out blog post generation. So think of any blog post ideas that you might have for your industry. Or let's say you're working as a business owner, but however, you have a lot of tasks to consider. You have to think of operations. You have to think of um, sort of um, any of the services you guys are providing. You have to think about sort of um, your marketing, your sales. Sometimes you're not in your most creative self. What can we use ChatGBT to help us mitigate that is just to help us brainstorm and have content ideation. 
So within ChatGBT, as a disposal, we'll have it to actually draft full drafts. We'll have it, it'll save time for us by providing us with some inspirational content ideas. So anytime, regardless, any time of the day you're in, it could be difficult sometimes to even come up with a hashtag for your social media post. It could be difficult to come up with some social, some creative new social media ideas. This is where we can leverage ChatGBT. Help us put together some so social media content. Help us come up with some different ideas for generating more engagement online, which includes content ideas, captions, and tailored to specific platforms. Let's say I'm dabbling in a new, as a business owner, I'm dabbling in a new social media platform. I'm not too familiar with the kind of content that performs well on LinkedIn. You can use ChatGBT at your disposal just to look at sort of the best performing content on LinkedIn within your industry, or if you're looking for new blog ideas for your businesses that you can produce on LinkedIn as well. That's how we can leverage sort of ChatGBT. Also, click of landing page optimization. So we can actually leverage ChatGBT to generate some compelling copy for our landing pages. We can also increase conversions and improve our user experience. How can we improve user experience on the landing page? By cutting out the jargon within our text, by having clear call to actions, by having a good workflow within our actual landing page. ChatGPT can help us come up with the adequate text for us to actually implement, for us to increase the optimization for our landing page. And we've talked about this before and earlier in today's um, workshop is ad copy creation. So even if you're sort of stumped on ideas, ChatGPT can provide us with some suggestions and some various ads, a copy for ads, which is going to help us as marketers optimize our advertising campaign. We've seen in recent years, TikTok has been more prevalent within social media. We've seen how reels have been more prevalent within Instagram. It's becoming more of the more preferred content that users are engaging with on Instagram. We'll also have ChatGPT to help us with our video script writing. So it can actually generate scripts for video content, ensuring that we have clear messaging and engaging storytelling when we're creating content for our social media platforms. Some more ways we can actually leverage ChatGPT is what we've mentioned in today's icebreaker is emails. So not only do we utilize ChatGPT just to actually put together email copy for us, but we can use ChatGPT for newsletter content. So I've actually used ChatGPT to help generate content for various email newsletters, including different subject lines, introductions, and even key messaging. How about if we have an e-commerce store and we're having a lot of SKUs on our website? It could be difficult sometimes to come up with descriptions, with unique descriptions for all of our different products. That's where ChatGPT comes in and helps us automate the process because it can help us with product descriptions. So if you're thinking of ways to create compelling and persuasive product descriptions, highlighting its features, benefits, and unique selling propositions, we'll have all those options available to us by utilizing ChatGBT. Think of the tone and style customization. What makes it brand unique? It's going to be its own writing style. We can actually use ChatGBT to match our current writing style to match specific brand guidelines and target audience preferences. What about for localization and translation? So ChatGBT can actually assist in generating localized content, translating existing content into different languages for us as well, and for marketing within different markets. And lastly, our content optimization suggestions. So we actually get recommendations from ChatGBT on improving clarity, readability, and SEO friendliness content. And I know as a digital marketer, coming up with content for SEO is going to be the forefront of your SEO strategy. We can work on potential um, keywords. We can work on um, website optimization. But what is it that brings a user back to a website? It's going to be content. So this is where ChatGPT comes in and helps us. It can help us generate some of these content suggestions that is performing well on SEO and is also SEO friendly as well. Speaking of SEO, how might a and SEO utilize ChatGBT? So some, one of the most difficult components of SEO is on-page SEO, which is keyword research. So we actually use ChatGBT to actually generate a list of relevant keywords for our industry, target audience, and our content focus. And I'll go through a live demonstration of ChatGBT actually populating a list of keywords for us. 
Also content optimization. So it can actually provide us with guidance on optimizing our website's content structure, our headings, our meta tags, our alt tags as well, which are important factors for our SEO. How about of our competitors? So for ChatGBT, we can actually leverage it for competitor analysis. It's gonna help us analyze actually our competitor's website and identify some of their SEO strategies, their keywords, and even their backlink opportunities. Another main component of on-page SEO is putting together friendly URL suggestions. So if we're looking for ideas to help optimize our URLs, we can actually get suggestions from ChatGBT on creating search engine friendly URLs that accurately affect, reflect our content. Another important component of SEO is the user experience. So content and user experience should always be top of mind. How do we improve user experience on a website? By our internal link building strategy. What can, how can we leverage ChatGBT for a optimized link building strategy is by it can provide us actually on recommendations on internal linking structures to actually enhance our website's navigation and improve our search engine quality. And lastly, one of the main component on SEO is going to be off-page SEO, which is one of the main important pillars of SEO itself. What, what is the main component of off-page SEO? It's going to be backlinking. How do we optimize for backlinking or how can we utilize ChatGBT to help us with our backlinking? But it can actually suggest approachings of different approaches to actually build high quality backlinks, which is going to improve our website's overall authority and our search rankings. We've mentioned email marketing and personalization and how we've utilized ChatGBT to actually populate some email responses. But these are some of the ways I've actually personally used ChatGBT within my own email marketing strategies as well, it is by creating actually personalized email content. So within ChatGBT, it's going to help generate some personalized email content based off of our user preference, their behavior, and even their demographic information. Another main important component with email marketing is going to be to actually get the emails to open. How do we get the emails to open? By creating compelling subject lines. So within creating compelling subject lines, sometimes we need to A-B test, which subject lines are and which call to actions are actually converting into a higher open rate. So we can utilize A-B testing and subject lines within our email content. So we can actually leverage ChatGBT to actually generate multiple different subject line variations and email content variations for our A-B testing, which is going to actually improve our open rates and our click-through rates on our email marketing. Also our automated email sequences. So one of the most important factors of putting together an email marketing sort of idea is going to be creating an email sequence. But if you have no experience sort of with email marketing and you're really unsure what kind of sequence is best performing or what kind of sequence is going to be best practice for email marketing, we can actually ask ChatGBT. And what will it provide us with? By an automated email sequences and nurture leads throughout the customer journey. By creating these sequences, they're going to provide us with delivering timely and relevant content based off of our user actions and different triggers between our email marketing. Think about our different content ideas. Let's say we have our, C our email sequence laid out, we have our subject line laid out, now it's going to be the actual content. So ChatGBT can help us with some dynamic content generation. So you can actually incorporate ChatGBT to dynamically generate some personalized content within emails, such as any product recommendations, any tailored offers that we might have for our customers, and any, any dynamic pricing information that we can provide for our products as well. Another way we can help utilize ChatGBT within email marketing is by segmenting our email list. So ChatGBT can actually segment email lists based off of the customer behavior, preferences, their demographics, and we can actually enable targeted and customized messaging. Another important component between our email flows is going to be behavioral email triggers. So what I've actually used ChatGBT before in the past is to have it suggest to me effective email triggers for our automated behavior email campaigns, such as an abandoned cart, optimizing emails for product upsells, and generating emails for re-engagement emails between our customers as well. And lastly is actually our email subject line optimization. 
So if we're actually thinking, looking for ideas, we know that to actually put together for our subject line. However, we're not expert copywriters ourselves, and we don't have the budget to actually outsource for any copywriters to put together any effective email subject lines. We can use ChatGBT at our disposal. So we can actually get suggestions from ChatGBT on improving the effectiveness and clickability of our email subject lines. ChatGBT is I've not only used ChatGBT for email marketing and SEO, but I've actually utilized it a lot for our social media marketing. How are some ways we actually can utilize ChatGBT to create an effective social media strategy? By generating social media post ideas. So we can actually leverage ChatGBT to generate some creative and engaging ideas for some social media posts, ensuring that we have a consistent flow of content that's going to resonate between our target audience. Another important feature between social media, especially if you're going to be advertising on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, even LinkedIn, is hashtags. What do we understand about hashtags? How do we know what hashtags are best performing? We can actually use ChatGPT for hashtag optimization. To so actually leverage ChatGPT to even suggest relevant and trending hashtags for a social media post, which is going to increase our discoverability and our reach. We've talked about creating compelling subject lines in email marketing copy, but it can also create some compelling captions as well. And you'd be surprised. ChatGPT is very creative in generating captivating captions that actually align within our brand voice and encourages engagement before our, with our social media audience. Some other ways we can utilize ChatGPT between your social media market is going to be content curation as well. So ChatGBT can actually assist in curating and sharing relevant industry articles, blog posts, or even news on our social media channels, which can actually establish us as a thought leader between our industry. Looking for more social media ideas and campaigns, ChatGBT can actually provide us with some contests and campaign ideas. So it can, we can leverage it to generate ideas for engaging social media contests, challenges, or even campaigns to help foster our audience participation and user-generated content. I know we've covered social media, email marketing, as well as SEO. What about if we wanted to put a few budget, a budget behind um, our social media marketing? Can ChatGBT help us as well? Absolutely because I've actually utilized ChatGBT for any some social media um, advertising strategies. So you can actually get insights from ChatGBT on effective social media strategies, targeting options, ad formats, and even ad copy. An example would be, let's say I'm looking to create a social media post on Instagram. We can ask ChatGBT to provide us with the dimensions for an Instagram video, as well as provide us with different strategies for marketing the video and give us as suggestions for ad copy that we can include on the video as well. It can even go as far as telling us the type of content that we can include within our video campaign. But as great as ChatGPT is, as much as I've leveraged it, it would be disingenuous not to include some limitations and challenges within the actual platform. So some challenges that you might come across between ChatGPT is going to be the language limitations. So even though ChatGPT is a highly capable AI tool, it still may encounter some challenges while understanding some complex or ambiguous queries and generating accurate responses to our actual questions. Sometimes we might lack some domain-specific knowledge. So ChatGPT training is just based on general knowledge, so it might not have a deep expertise on a specific industry or a super niche area. Think about some ethical considerations as well. So we should use ChatGBT responsibly and ethically by avoiding any biased or discriminatory content and ensuring that we have transparency when interacting between our own customers. And we're not just responding to our customers through ChatGBT if they have a genuine concern about our product or even our service. And think about our customer adaptation and our trust. So yes, ChatGBT is a trustworthy tool that we can have to generate sort of email responses and automate message but sometimes customers do still prefer that human interaction. So if we're going to be using ChatGBT, we must be carefully introduced ChatGBT just as a powered solution and building trust by through clear transparency and clear communication. If we see that a customer at ChatGBT is just not satisfying a customer with the responses that we're receiving, and then we need to get involved and predict so some customers prefer um, 
human interactions, that's what we take ownership sort of on us as well. So just think of ChatGBT as increasing work productivity. It can help generate our responses, but we also want to be mindful of there's times where we might want to include our own input as well. And we don't want to mitigate our, or we don't want to diverge from actually having some uh, human interactions between our own customers. Also between some of the limitations and challenges is the monitoring and maintenance. So continuous monitoring and updates are necessary to ensure that we chat DBT's performance, their accuracy and alignment when changing the customer's needs and industry trends. So sometimes chat GBT might not have all the answers for us. Sometimes chat, we rely too much on chat GBT for us to keep us on top of sort of industry trends. So we just want to be mindful of the continuous maintenance and monitoring to see what are the most updated versions of chat GBT. The tool has progressed a lot from when I first used it sort of 12 months ago till now. But I did have some limitations on it because it was only providing me some information that was based off of 2001 versus the, the, the newest updates were now providing me information between 2023. So you just want to be cognizant of the actual the continuing monitoring and sort of the industry trends that we're looking for within ChatGBT. By saying that, look for potential miscues. So yes, it is a powerful technology, but there could be some miscues for some malicious purposes. So businesses must establish some safeguards and guidelines to prevent these miscues as well. So within actually ChatGBT, when we're talking about potential for miscues, we also want to take into if we're using ChatGBT in an ethical way to just help us to help us to in order to improve our work productivity to help us with our, with our actual marketing campaigns and we're leveraging to help us with our overall workflow. And we're not looking for chat GBT, sort of, we're not using it sort of ethically to sort of, um, to sort of throw any disdain towards like other business as well, or to generate more content ideas to sort of um, undercut sort of our competitors too as well. So we just wanna be mindful of that when we're actually using chat GBT as well. And lastly, some best practices that are using ChatGBT within our digital marketing. So when actually you're using ChatGBT, we want to be able to define our clear objectives and our use cases. So we want to identify specific goals and use cases where ChatGBT can actually add value to our digital marketing efforts. Other best practices for digital marketing is we can train ChatGBT with relevant data. So we can actually fine tune and train ChatGBT with any industry specific or company specific data to improve its understanding and our accuracy. So if we're presented with the backend of a website or we're linked to a Google Analytics and you're looking to help summarize the data or look for current trends within our data, we can actually help ChatGBT identify some of those trends as well. We can provide some context and guidelines between digital marketing by using ChatGBT. Because when interacting with ChatGBT, we can provide some clear context and guidelines to ensure that we have accurate and relevant responses. One of the main things with as a digital marketer is you're always going to be iterating. You're always going to be testing. What can we use ChatGBT for? By conducting A-B testing and gathering feedbacks from customers to help iterate and improve our performance and effectiveness as well. Also, monitor and analyze our performance. So we can continuously monitor the performance and impact of ChatGBT within our digital marketing efforts by leveraging the analytics and customer feedback. How do we do this? Let's say we ask ChatGBT to put together a social media campaign for us. We're always going to have to monitor and analyze its performance to see what areas we're actually performing well on and what areas that we need improvement on. So even though ChatGBT is a powerful tool that can provide us with content, idea, um, content ideas, as well as keyword ideas for SEO, as well as email marketing subject lines, how effective is it in our digital marketing strategy? That's why we always have to stay up to date with our advancements as well. So we want to be mindful of new developments and advances between ChatGBT just to explore how we can further enhance our digital marketing strategies and also ChatGBT can also embrace a hybrid approach. So we can actually not only use Judas ChatGBT, but we want to leverage it with our human expertise just to deliver personalized and exceptional customer experiences. So we mentioned some of the limitations and challenges with ChatGBT. Some do we want to be using ChatGBT sort of an ethical way to help build our business. We're not using ChatGBT to give us some malicious ideas within our industry. We're not using utilizing ChatGBT to replace human interaction. However, we're looking for it to aid human interaction. 
nothing beats a um, human to human interaction within marketing as well. So what we can use when, when you're using like ChatGPT, I just want to preface this. We just utilize, utilize ChatGPT as a tool within digital marketing. We're still the architect. We're still looking for building out different strategies sort of as well. I love think of just using ChatGPT just as another arsenal within your toolbox to just help aid you throughout your digital marketing journey, not to replace sort of the digital marketing campaigns that you might have because there are some limitations. There is some creativity that ChatGBT might have limitations towards, especially knowledge within specific niche industries. If you are a subject matter at a certain industry, you can utilize ChatGBT use it, um, just to help generate some more ideas for you. But at the end of the day, you know what works best for your business and you know your customers better than ChatGBT. With that being said, is there any questions at all before we go through a quick demo of ChatGBT? Um, get... I actually had a question. Yeah, go for, for sure. it. Go. Um, so you you mentioned um, you mentioned the A/B testing, right? So I understand all the other aspects of ChatGPT, but how mm -hmm. exactly does A/B testing work uh, with ChatGPT? So if we're looking for to a testing new subject lines for our email marketing, we can help ChatGPT generate different subject lines for us. And then ultimately we test them between our email marketing platform. So we're just coming up with new content ideas for our actual subject lines. Right, so it's not exactly A-B testing, but it's just an aid to it's, help yeah, with we it. Yeah, leverage it for A-B testing. Okay, that makes sense. All right, thank you. No problem, good question, Hope. How are you feeling about ChatGBT, Martisa? Ready to utilize it between? <laughs> no, I think it's really, really awesome. This is super brand new to me, definitely. So this has been very informative. Okay, awesome. I want to take a pulse of the room. Does anybody have a business that they are working in or an industry that they're working in right now? So I'm not, uh, I don't have a, an exact business, but I did, mm -hmm. I was lucky enough to earn some money from uh, ChatGPT mm -hmm. through uh, content writing. Oh, and Yeah, and uh, this was probably around three or four months ago, uh, mm -hmm. probably longer than that, when, you know, it was just uh, uh, gaining more, um, attention uh, mm -hmm. so that was a great time to you know just people didn't know a lot and uh, especially if you had a copywriting job uh, you could easily use chat gpt and uh, create a lot more content in a lot less time but i recently started using bard uh, mm -hmm. if you know about that one yeah and, absolutely uh, so my question is is there a way to get ChatGPT or Bard to create more um, original content as compared to stuff that's, you know, not uh, stuff that's repetitive, you know, as it is usually in copywriting. Yeah, so that is actually the challenge that were some of the limitations that ChatGPT might have itself. It can help you brainstorm different ideas and you can leverage the ideas that you receive from ChatGBT to create original um, ideas. How does ChatGBT get their information? By best practices of what they see on the web. So technically it is not original content, but what you can do as a copywriter is look at the different ideas generated by ChatGBT for you to come up with more original content ideas if I was going to approach, if I was going to, going to go about it as a copywriter. Okay. So let's look at a hypothetical situation. Let's say I own a hair salon in Austin, Texas, and I have no idea about SEO and I have no idea how to put together any keyword research ideas. So what we can ask, use ChatGPT for leverage. So ask, can you perform keyword suggestions for my 
pass then access. It boggles my mind how fast this is. It <laughs> always blows my mind. How is it so fast? Oh, my God. Yeah, absolutely. So what do I do in this situation? I have all these different, I have about 20 ideas now of keyword suggestions between my new hair salon. I would plug some of these keywords in a tool such as Google AdWord Planner, just to sort of see the traction some of these keywords get and assess some of the actual volume of the searches that these keywords get. That's one way. What about if I want to create a website? What is best performing content on websites or what is some of the most preferred content that performs well for SEO and websites? Blog ideas. But as a hair salon owner, what kind of blog ideas can I actually put together for ChatGBT? So. And just like that, we have over a dozen ideas now of different blog ideas that we can be using for our new hair salon. Let's take one of these. Let's take this a step further. Let's see top 10 hair trends in Austin stay ahead of the fashion curve. You know what? I have my blog idea. Let's write a blog for this. Can you write me? And just like that, it's putting together a blog post for us. <laughs> it, the tool is not perfect. We do need to make some changes to see what yeah. works. But it's just a great a great starting point. So right oh, now, one of the yeah. limitations as a copywriter that I've come across with ChatGBT myself is that <laughs> um, the content I'm not 100% sure if it's, um, you know, if it's 100% original, like we said that that was one of the limitations of the um, system, right? And then my personal belief as a writer and a copywriter is that an AI tool cannot replace human writing. It can aid it, but it cannot replace it just yet because I don't think the tool is, I, I don't think it's sophisticated enough just yet mm -hmm. I mean most of the times you would notice that when you put a prompt in the tool it would give mm -hmm. you like paragraphs or numerical like step-by-step -step guidelines or whatever right but blog posting and blog writing in itself is so diverse when you're writing exactly. a blog right um you need a whole bunch of different things like you're doing some research product research you're adding those things and it, it just Adds to it, but it's a great tool to, you know, just get started. I love someone. that you brought that up because nothing beats original copywriting from an experienced copywriter. However, what I can utilize, let's say we're not all copywriters. Mm -hmm. What a great place for me to start. We can actually leverage ChatGBT for it. So we know that you're a skilled copywriter. You know, you can put together original thought. You have that creativity. ChatGBT, it might sound more of like an AI bot. However, for a, let's see, for this scenario, for a hair salon owner in Austin, Texas, that has no idea what to put together for a blog post idea. This is where you can use a chat GBT at your actual disposal. A really good point, Hope. I what just have one more thing. Sorry. I'm yeah. so sorry. I'm like really into this. And I, I'm so sorry for hoarding so much <laughs> I love time. I like, um, just one thing. So like the one thing that I was hoping to get a demonstration for was about um, data tabulation and everything, because I know businesses have used that. And I'm not too sure how that comes into play, because I do understand the content aspect of ChatGPT, but mm -hmm. I do not understand how, because like, I know that people are using it to um, sort through data and then, um, you yeah, know, sort absolutely. it and create tab tables and stuff. Um, I, I, I'm not sure how that works. If you can just have okay. a demonstration of absolutely. that. 
Can you? PR conversion conversion rates open rates so if I actually had data to actually include in here this mm -hmm. is how we can actually utilize ChatGBT. It mm -hmm. can help us organize it in a chart format, or if we're looking to look for any specific trends within our actual data, it'll help us look for those as well. That is amazing. It blows my mind. <laughs> AI is after my job. <laughs> <laughs> it's after all of our jobs. Who knows, maybe I'm AI myself. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a glitch in the matrix. I'm not going to go let's, that far. <laughs> let's go another idea. So now we see that we have, okay, we've generated a some keyword ideas. We have a blog post. What about some social media captions? Mm -hmm. Can you provide me with social media captions for hair salons? So as a note, we want to tailor our captions to match our salon's brand voice. But just for the sake of the demonstration, I just wanted to see, show you guys how you can actually utilize the tool to generate some ideas. Are you guys' minds blown yet? <laughs> Mine is. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Um, with that being said, if there are no further questions, I'm just going to hand it over to Martisa real quick. Okay, awesome. So I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody for joining. And I'm going to drop a little link here in the chat. Um, so for those that have participated, we do offer a certificate for a chat CBT training. So I put it in the link um, in the Zoom, and if you'd like one, just fill it out. But I wanted to just give a, spe a special thanks to Bash for leading today's workshop and teaching us such great information about Chat GBT. Um, I work for Workforce Institute, which Workforce Institute is the one who um, leads the uh, monthly workshop. Uh, and I just wanted to just give you a little bit of an overview of what we have to offer in case you do have any questions. Um, but here at Workforce Institute, we're a partner with uh, different universities, and we offer a 12-week digital marketing program. And we start our classes on a monthly basis. So we have our next cohort starting on July 6th. And Bash is one of our instructors. So uh, today just kind of gives you a little bit of an experience of what it would be to be a part of a digital marketing course with Workforce Institute and just how amazing our instructors are here at Workforce Institute. Um, so we offer instructor-led classes. We have exceptional student services. And what's really unique is it's a very interactive cohort experience. So not only are you going to be learning all things digital marketing, but you're able to network and just get that one-of-a-kind experience experience in your classroom setting. Along with that, upon graduation, we do offer 12 months of career services where we will help our students really outline a professional resume and interview prep to work in the digital marketing field. Um, so if this is something that you're interested in, again, in the link that I provided on top of getting a certificate for the chat GPT completion, you can just say, share that you are interested in being contacted by an admissions advisor, and we'll be happy to share more information. Um, but with that being said, do you guys have any questions um, for Bash in regards to the chat GBC? Okay, so I think that's it. We're just so happy that you joined. And um, we hope you have an amazing weekend. And, and thank you again, Beth, for this awesome workshop. Thank you very much, Pratisa. It was a lot of fun today.
Hope to see you guys in some of the awesome. awards. All right, thanks everybody.